Okay, so my main my main goal today is to test these tires out on a little bit of single track. Last time I was here it was sandy as hell. I have this set up. I set this up for a sag similar to what I have on my dirt bikes. Okay, so right now I have the sag set at 96 millimeters. So I'm sure most of y'all know, I won't get into what sag is, but yes, you can set your sag on this bike by using your preload adjustment on your, your user one or user two. So I have the sag set with, with my gear on, I have it set to 96 millimeters, where on the dirt bike I have it set to 100 millimeters. So, you know, the, the more sag you have, it'll turn a little bit easier, um, but it won't be as stable. So that's why I kind of picked something in between the middle. This butterfly, you just don't know what to do. Are you humping my light? Huh? So, uh, oh shit. Oh man. These pegs, I have, I have some concerns about this peg, these pegs. Cancel. Yes. I'm probably gonna get rid of these pegs. Get rid of these pegs. Come on, David. I'm probably gonna get rid of these pegs just because they are so damn big. And it's all it's already almost caused me to drop this bike on a couple occasions just from coming to a stop. Okay. With the suspension on hard, it makes riding in this, this loose stuff a little better. I got it set on overall hard, and I think I got rear medium and front hard. Yes, my front is hard. clutch a little bit in that loose sand. You know what? I need to put this down. I keep always forget to put that down. Stand up. And I have the power on level was it three? Yeah power on level three. And it's not necessarily the power mode or how much power, it's the way that it gets to the ground. It's a little more subtle throttle hit. Oh shit! <laughs> well, I don't know if there's any more. I don't know if there's any more, but we'll see. But yeah, testing out these motas. Motaz Adventure tires on this stuff and myself I'll tell you what one thing I did learn on that beta demo days and I'm working on getting the video out so y'all just bear with me um, what I have learned is that um, th that suspension will wear you the hell out oh my god as soon as I got on these beta bikes, I realized I can ride probably all day long on those bikes. Whereas like on the KX and um, any other bike that I have, have had, those bikes, the suspension is made for going fast, right? And I'm not that fast. <laughs> so... So, it, I did not realize how bad it wears you out. Like this right here, that I'm, that I'm doing on this bike, it's not bad. I don't, I'm not near as worn out, but I'm also going not even half the speed that I would normally go. Saying, whoo, there's my trail right there. No, I want to.
Put it second. Yeah, second's just not slow at all. first oh <laughs> that's what I get for turning around pay attention to what's in front of you not behind you Okay, I do like the suspension on the harder setting. Ugh. Suspension on the harder setting really does make a difference. But the only bad thing about it is, is you have to, what I've noticed, like I said in these turns, you have to attack them a little harder and lean the bike underneath you. And let the back kind of do what it's going to do. Oop, like that. <laughs> Let's see about this corner. Yep, just like that. Hey, I need to get some mud on this thing. not talking much uh, got to do a little bit of concentrating <laughs> dummy yeah get get smart spin that back in around Here. 
and also finding where to put your body on this thing has been kind of weird. But basically what I've found so far on this trip, put your knees right there where your tank grippers go. It feels like it would be a little too far forward, but it seems to be working for, for me right at the moment. <laughs> yeah, she tried to go up. She tried to leave me. I do feel that front end pretty loose. Still in second. Okay. Oh, clutch, clutch. I could have sworn the end of the trail was not that far. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> <laughs> 